make things that go into a very hostile environment, as you've seen, chipping, breaking. We've got new materials to help us get over these challenges, but it is a challenge. So here's what we do. Simple, you can see the implant uh, site there. Simple shade tab, a couple of composite spots to give us a, a closer shade match. And there's the crown. So we've done what we were meant to do. We fooled the public. Their nearest and dearest will not know that they've got a prosthesis restoring function and aesthetics for them. So well done us. So why then do we have to change the digital? Because we've been doing that job so well for over 70 years as technicians. Well, we have to change because 70 years ago, uh, Oren Bevan, uh, the right honorable Oren Bevan, put out a call and said, we have many, many dental surgeons we do not have enough technicians to make the prosthesis that we need to restore our nation's dental health. So, a huge investment program started. So many technicians were brought on board and trained. But 70 years later, those guys with the Bunsen burners and the wax knives, many labs are still using Bunsen burners and wax knives. But they can't carry on that way. And the reason they can't carry on that way is on the left-hand side are all of the training facilities that used to train dental technicians in the UK. That's a lot of training facilities. They put out hundreds of dental technicians every year, very highly skilled, motivated dental technicians. But this is out of date. There's actually only three sites left. There are only three sites in the UK that qualify dental technicians anymore. We put out less than 50 who remain in the industry every year. That's a problem. Here's another problem. 